continue working on the crane section of the 108. If you're not familiar with the 108, it's a series of 108 movements that we have, we do as a form. Um, and there are several different sections, crane being one of them. So you'll be able to see the differences between what we do in the advanced class versus what we do in the beginner class. So we just worked on our crane unit, which we do in the beginner class. And now we're going to look at the crane 108. So last week we did the first five movements on each side and we previewed the next couple of movements. We'll go over those in more detail, but before we do that, let's review what we learned last week. So right before our crane section is our tiger section. So two animals that you're already familiar with. And that ends in return horse to stable which just means that you're going to step back with your right foot in a bow stance and bring your fists up by your chest facing in towards one another. Then we're going to stomp our left foot, cross in front with our right, pivot, cross in front with our left, step out to a horse stance at an angle, and that's called crane walking. Then we're gonna do descending arm, hand, and waist. That means you bring your right hand up by your left shoulder, push your left hand out. Remember, we're blocking something, so we wanna be pushing it far out from our body. We don't wanna have it close in. Then we're gonna do one finger with both of our hands. One is going to come up by our left temple, the other one we're going to push down by our right knee. Step back with your left foot, sink and punch up diagonally away from you, a crane punching. Block and grab with your right hand and fist through the cleat. Then we're going to do hard and soft. Same thing on the other side that we just did. Stomp with your right, cross in front with your left. Pivot, cross in front with your right. Step out to a horse stance, crane walking. Descending arm, hand and waist. Now our left hand is by our right shoulder, right hand pushing out. One finger asks a question. Step back with your right, sink and punch, crane wing punching, block and grab with your left, fist through the sleeve, and then we'll go feet together. All right, let's do that one more time. This time we'll just do it with the names, no instructions. So step back with your right, cross right over left, circle out, back fist, Crane walking, descending arm, hand and waist, one finger asks a question, crane wing punching, fist through the sleeve, hard and soft, crane walking, descending arm, hand and waist, one finger asks a question, crane wing punching, fist through the sleeve. All right, try that one more time on your own, and then we will learn the next couple of moves. If you can't remember all of it, try to just do it to the best of your ability. So even if you only remember hard and soft, I want you to just practice hard and soft, okay? Let's review that one more time and then we'll add on some new moves. So we're going to start hands up by our chest, cross right over left, hard and soft, chamber your hands, crane walking, 
extending arm, hand, and waist. One finger asks the question, creating wave punching. Fist through the sleeve. Hard and soft. Crane walking. Descending arm, hand, and waist. One finger asks the question. Crane wing punching. Fist through the sleeve. Now we're going to step in with our right foot. Do a cat stance. We're going to inside block with our right hand and push out to peck with our left crane knee. That's a crane pecking. I'm gonna do that facing towards you so that way you can see what I'm doing with my hands. So we step our right foot in to a cat stance, inside block and peck out. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to set our right foot down, step forward with our left, inside block with our left hand, and peck out with our right. Revive the crane. Then we're gonna set our left foot down, lift our right knee, flying crane. And this time, we have our hands just in crane wings. So just a flat palm with your thumb tucked under. All right, and remember when we're doing our crane stances, we wanna lift our knee high up because the higher your knee, the more balanced you'll be. You also want to keep a little bit of a bend in your left knee. So don't lock out your left leg you'll feel less stable. You wanna keep a little bit of a bend in your left leg. All right, let's add those moves in. So we will start from return horse to stable, hard and soft, crane walking, descending arm, hand and waist. One finger asks the question, crane wing punching. Fist through the sleeve. Hard and soft. Make sure you chamber that left hand. Crane walking. Descending arm, hand and waist. One finger asks the question. Crane wing punching. Fist through the sleeve. Inside block, step in. A crane pecking. Revive the crane. Flying crane. One last time together, and then I'm going to have you practice it on your own. Hard and soft. Chamber those hands. Crane walking. Descending arm, hand, and waist. One finger asks a question. Crane wing punching. Fist through the sleeve. Hard and soft, crane walking, descending arm, hand and waist. One finger asks the question, crane wing punching, fist through the sleeve, a crane pecking, revive the crane, flying crane. All right, I want you to practice that on your own two times.
you can remember all the moves. Remember, this is from advanced class. We usually don't even learn this in beginner class. But you guys are lucky you're getting a head start. So don't get frustrated if you can't get it right away. We're going to continue learning, reviewing, and building on it. So let's review it together one last time. And then we're going to add on two more moves. So step back with your right foot, hard and soft, crane walking, descending arm, hand and weights, one finger, ask the question, crane wing punching, kids through the sleeve, hard and soft, crane walking, descending arm, hand and weights, one finger, ask the question, Crane wing punching. Fist through the sleeve. A crane pecking. Revive the crane. Step up with your right flying crane. Now our next move, all we're going to do is change our hands. So we're going to go from crane wings into our crane heads. And this is called Hungry Crane Stands on One Leg. All right, so you want to have your right arm a little bit higher than your left. Then we're going to reach back with our right foot and our left hand. We're going to bring them forward, hit our right foot with our left hand, come down and up. Hungry crane captures strength. All right, let's try all of that from the beginning. One more time before we bow out. Hard and soft. Crane walking. Descending arm, hand and weights. One finger asks the question. Crane wing punching. Fist through the sleeve. Hard and soft. Crane walking, descending arm, hand and waist. One finger asks the question. Crane wing punching, fist through the sleeve. A crane pecking, revive the crane. Flying crane, hungry crane stands on one leg. Hungry crane, capture strength. Feet together. Let's go ahead and do our life skill. The path of self-mastery requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self-doubt. The path of self-mastery requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self-doubt. The path of self-mastery requires a creative spirit. A creative spirit has no self-doubt. Feet together. Bow to each other at home. Great job, Black Sash training.